Welcome to Gun of the Week, Episode 8, where we're going to take a look at the MK14. Accuracy is very good. Damage is amazing. Range is very good. Fire rate is moderate. And the mobility is decent. So, let's get on to the gameplay. So, the MK14. The only semi-auto assault rifle in Modern Warfare 3. The most powerful assault rifle in Modern Warfare 3. My favorite assault rifle in Modern Warfare 3? I don't think so. This gun is great, don't get me wrong, but it's not my favorite. It's very good if you like the semi-auto guns. However, I'm not a huge fan. It is great. I like the gun, just not my favorite. So it's unlocked at level 60. You know, and you might be thinking, level 60, that can't be too bad. However, it's not the easiest thing to do because it's out of 80 levels. It takes a good amount of time to get to level 60. Anyway, let's move on to the rest of the stats here. We got the accuracy. The accuracy is very good. The iron sights are very accurate. And the iron sights are similar to the M14 of Call of Duty 4. It is one of the two uh, semi-auto assault rifles in COD 4. And they were very accurate too. If you remember those guns, there was the M14 from COD 4. And there was the M21, which was a sniper rifle. The only difference between those two guns was that the M21, the sniper rifle has a scope on it. And if you remember to Modern Warfare 2, there was a sniper rifle, the M21 EBR. This gun is the M21 EBR without the scope. This is the M14 EBR. However, they didn't name it that because they didn't want to, I guess. The MK14, the Mod 14. All right. But it is the M14 EBR. It was actually also in the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. So, it is the M14 EBR. That's just a little fun fact, I guess. But it has moderate recoil, so it has a fast recovery too. So you can get those shots off pretty fast. But the recoil is going to, how do I say this, limit you from how fast you're going to get your shots off. Because you want to wait for that to recover. So you might want to take a little bit of time in between shots and not just completely spam the trigger like I do right here. I kind of just spam it. And you can see that the recoil goes up a little bit. And you got to wait a little bit in between those shots. Anyway, the damage. The damage is amazing. Okay? One to two up close and two to three at a distance. And it is the only assault rifle to get a one hit kill at under any circumstances. Alright, some of them, if someone's already damaged, possibly. But this gun can pull off a one hit kill if they're at full health. Sometimes. Okay? It can. And it has the highest damage in the assault rifle category, uh, as I said earlier in the video. The range. The range is very good. Alright, it's a semi-auto gun, and it's great for long range. And, you know, mostly semi-auto guns are really good at long range. That's just the way things are. That's just, just how things happen, I guess. And, you know, you might run into some trouble in close quarters, because this gun isn't meant for that. You're going to really have to spam that trigger in close quarters. In close quarter combat, you're definitely going to have to spam that trigger. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just not the greatest for close up, so... Keep that in mind uh, on what map you use this with. The fire rate. The fire rate is moderate. The fire rate is 545 RPM, which stands for rounds per minute, just in case you didn't know. And that's assuming you can pull the trigger that fast. Most people can't pull the trigger as fast as the gun can shoot. All right, it's just not something most people can do. Okay, if you have this extreme trigger finger, then maybe. However, it's not gonna be completely insane. You can actually up the fire rate by putting rapid fire on it, which cuts down on the time in between shots you can fire. What I mean by this is, if you know what I mean, let me think of a semi-auto semi shotgun that is in Modern Warfare 3. Alright, the USAS-12. That thing is semi-auto, if you didn't know. And you can spam the trigger on that. I mean, it's not semi-auto. It's fully automatic, if you didn't know. And you can spam the trigger on that and it won't shoot any faster because it has that time in between each shot. Same with all the other semi-auto shotguns. They'll have this time in between their shot. The MK14 is nothing different. It has that waiting time in between each shot for it to recover, for it to, you know, get its bearings. And if you put rapid fire on it, it cuts down on that time and you can fire faster. I'm not sure what the fire rate ends up being after that, but it is faster right it definitely is faster and the mobility 
The mobility is decent, okay? This gun is a big gun in real life. It's it's big. It's like it's it's a sniper rifle pretty much. It's a sniper rifle without a scope. It's it's big. It's a big gun. There's not there's nothing you can really do about that. So you can't run extremely fast with this. But, you know, everything else is pretty decent. The aim down sight is 0 0.3 seconds, which you know isn't amazing. Uh, but it, it's it's right on par with the rest of the assault rifles. Most of them are like that, so, you know. And it has a slow reload time at 2.67 seconds. So, you know, those are the stats of the gun. In my personal opinion, I like this gun. You know, as I said earlier, it's not my favorite, but it's a great assault rifle. Definitely try this out, even if you don't like semi-auto guns, because they can be fun to mess around with. They really can. I have a really fun time using these. And, you know, it's really fun to think back to other games where you use semi-auto guns. I would always mess around with the M14 in Black Ops, and I would also mess around with the FAL in Black Ops. I loved, I loved messing around with those guns. And, you know, have fun with it, alright? Have fun with the game, and have fun with this gun, because, you know, sometimes if you try some guns that you're not usually using, usually it can turn out to be very good for you. So, that's all I have to say about that. So, here's a few things I want you guys to check out. You can check out my website. You can become a member on there, which gives you a Facebook-like profile, and you can participate in the blog and the forums, all that kind of stuff. So, I'd really encourage you guys to check that out. Also, social networking, face Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all that stuff, and G2PO. All links to that stuff are in the description. So, if you want to check that out, go ahead, check it out. And, you know, that would be great. Once again, my website, link in the description. You know, I would really encourage you to become a member on there. If you like my videos, go ahead, become a member on my website. It does nothing for me other than gives me a few fans to talk to. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This gameplay is wrapping up. MK14, only semi-auto gun in Modern Warfare 3. Most powerful assault rifle. Thanks for watching, guys. Final score, 200 to 95. Final kill goes to this guy i don't even know how to read his name all right later guys hope you liked the video and here's some of my recent videos